as an opportunity to present, uh, I suppose, an exceptional piece of music theatre with a fantastic cast. It's a very challenging piece and I've got a much greater design um, aspect this time around. So that's main, meant it's a much bigger workload, but uh, I've enjoyed that challenge because basically I've seen my vision, I suppose, realised by this fantastic team that uh, I've assembled, so it's actually pretty exciting. The thing that uh, I think makes it still a very modern piece is that um, fundamentally I think it's a story about a man who was wronged by people in power who are corrupt, and that's very much a topical issue these days for people like with the, the Occupy Europe protests, pretty well any disenfranchised person, like even the youth in, in uh, Europe with the, um, the crisis of, you know, all the austerity measures, there's people above making decisions that are fundamentally affecting their lives, not necessarily corrupt, but some are, and consequently it poses the question, what would you do, what would you as an individual do if you were wrong? by someone in power. And the other aspect is um, it's got a real nightmarish feel, so that, that also opens up quite a number of possibilities for us. There's no doubt in my view that the uh, theatre version is going to be far better and the primary reason for that is because we're going to have a much greater intensity mm. that we're going to be able to bring to bear. Uh, and of course anything live usually has that, but the nature of the work and the way we're presenting it will be really pushing that intensity, whereas I thought the movie was actually pretty laid back, really, and pretty cool when you take away all the blood and guts. The mm. performances were pretty pretty small, mm. and whereas we're really going for... Extreme. Extreme and that intensity, because, and it is it's a very intense story, there's intense emotions, and uh, but the music particularly supports all that, so you'd be mad to underplay that. Uh, well, I suppose what I know they're going to see is a, a totally unique uh, piece of theatre. Well, it's unique for a combination of factors. Of course, it's um, a wonderful piece of work just in its raw form. I mean, written by the sort of legend Stephen Sondheim, um, uh, as well as a fellow called Hugh Wheeler. And just the music is extraordinary. It's extraordinarily complex, but when we get it right, it's It'll just blow people away. So that's just at its, I suppose, rawest form. But on top of that, what the audience is going to see is um, a wonderful cast. I'm very, very pleased with my cast. We've been very selective in terms of who we did cast uh, for good reason, and they've been working very hard. So I'm hoping it's going to be unique in the sense that, well, uh, uh, never will never have seen anything quite like it. Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street, playing for a limited season at the Civic Theatre, October 9 to 13. Get your tickets from the ticket shop.